All right, guys, I don't know if you can see me properly, but I am on some back ass road in the middle of Greene County. Or I might still be in Washington County. I'm not sure. Anyway, I, I had to go to um, Mount Morris. I know that's in Greene County, you know, very close to the West Virginia border, but technically I was nowhere near Mount Morris. I was in between fucking Carmichael's and Waynesburg. So I don't know why this is a Mount Morris address. Anyways, this back road, I can't remember what the name of this road is because I'm not using my GPS because I don't have to because I know where I'm at. Um, but anyways, there are two very creepy looking abandoned houses on this road. And I want to show you, uh, there, there's one coming up. Actually, that's pretty fucking creepy up there. I don't know if you can see it. But, um, um, yeah, there's two really, really creepy abandoned houses on this road. Here's like a, a farm to the one. I, I'm pretty sure that's, that's the old farmhouse to the one. There's posted, here's, here it is. Here's the one. No cars coming. Look how creepy that is. There's posted signs everywhere. Like, that's creepy as shit. And then there's another one. There's another one down the road a little ways that's even, like, even more eerie than that one. Like, I just get, like, a very eerie, like, I'm not supposed to be anywhere near that house vibe. Um... Had the same feeling to the one down here. Uh, like I am in the middle of bumfuck Egypt, and you got a pretty mouth. All right. In the middle of bumfuck, and you got a pretty mouth. That's, that's basically where I'm at. And like this, it like it's it's eerie out here. I know I've been on this road before. Um, you know, especially whenever I was delivering hot tubs and shit. I know I was on... Oh, here, here it is. Well, here's one of them. Look how fucking creepy. Look at this fucking place. Just fucking... Oh, God, that's creepy. There's a car or a van behind me or I would have stopped and like got out and hung out or whatever. But that is just creepy as hell. Oh god. That is Texas Chainsaw Massacre wanted right there. <laughs> I mean, good god. And the fact that there's posted signs everywhere, like you can tell just by looking at that that nobody has lived in those houses in a long, long time. And there's another one down here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to s slow down to get a good look at it. Well, no, I know I'm not going to be able to because it was like, like in the woods, like, like it was a, it's a brick building. And you can barely, barely make it out. But it's like, it's in the weeds and shit. Like, it is fucking eerie looking. I seen you coming. I did. Hello. Um. But anyway. Oh, there's a... What the hell was that? I don't know if that was a dog or a fox. I don't know what the fuck that was. We got chupacabras out here in fucking southwestern PA. But, uh, poor thing, like, got off the road. I hope that wasn't a dog. I hope that wasn't somebody's dog. There's that, there's a house right there. And those people, like, it, I thought it was an abandoned junkyard. But it's some, it's a house. There's some dude living there. Because I see him on the way here. So, but, um, 
I'm gonna pull off and let this guy fucking get past me real quick. Um, hold on. Uh, anyways, uh, I pulled off so that guy behind me can go past. That's what the honking was for. And I, I wanted to, I paused the, the thing real quick so I can um, check the thing. But here's like a shed, but right here, uh, yeah, right here, you can barely fucking see it. Look at that. Look at that. That is so fucking eerie. So, needless to say, I have a couple places I want to come to. I found a place in Connellsville today. Um, that I know is abandoned. There's a shattered window and all that crazy shit in there. But out here, where I'm at, uh, I know a couple people that live out, or used to live out in this area, and they told me some stories, and if I'm not mistaken, this road, the road that I'm on, is, has some kind of crazy, um, uh, like some kind of crazy folklore or some shit about it. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're out here at night, you know, you can hear shit. Uh, I, I don't know how true it is, obviously. But there's some creepy stories from out this way. And just because of, like, how things were back in the old days... Um, you know, when the settlers were coming and, um, you know, slavery and all that crazy, uh, you know, especially slavery, you know, the, the, the bad shit like that, you know, that there's, uh, some stories about that. I know one about a house out here where this, this guy caught his wife with one of the slaves, and it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't a, 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 a black slave, like, this dude was a white guy, you know, he was a white slave, yes, people, there was white slaves back in the day, uh, my great, what is it, great, great, great grandfather, or something like that, he was actually a slave, and he was a white guy, like, so, yeah, like, it, it, it's weird knowing that I have, you know, that kind of, anyways, anyways, um, this, this guy caught his, his wife with uh, a slave, again, who was a white guy, um, and he apparently took not only his wife, but took the slave well obviously he took the slave and his wife but he took the other slaves like he had like apparently he had like eight people eight slaves um and yes they were you know it was a mixture of, of, of white and blacks um you know white and black people slaves and uh, just because of the uh, just because of the, the, the guy who he caught his wife with just because of those two he ended up tying up all of that well he, he killed his wife and the the, uh, the the slave that she was with but killed those two. And then after that, disposed of their bodies somehow. 
Uh, supposedly, from what rumors and, and stories and all that shit say, uh, buried those two, or like burned those two. There's two different stories. I heard that they he burnt both of them and then buried the ashes in multiple different places. And then I heard that he uh, basically chopped them up and uh, well, I heard that, uh, I guess there was three. The, you know, burying the ashes, burning, burying the ashes, chopping them up and burying, you know, scattering those uh, with, uh, you, you know, scattering the body parts in different places. Then I heard that he, uh, uh, cut him up, and I believe this is the one that's actually true, uh, just because of, I don't, I, I don't know, they, they were never able to find anything of these people, so it either, either it's true or not true, you know, obviously, uh, but they, um, he cut them up and then used their body, used the skin and meat from their bodies, cooked them, and then fed the other slaves and his animals their body parts and then killed the rest of the slaves. And then, uh, eventually, you know, supposedly he, uh, mixed her between burning those slaves and, uh, chopping those slaves up and, you know, feeding them to his pigs and shit. Which pigs, they'll eat everything. Hogs, they will eat, they will eat everything. Hogs eat fucking, you know, they, they eat skin, they eat bones, they eat meat, they eat their own fucking shit. Like, pigs will eat everything. You, you feed self to a pig and it's going to be gone. Um, but yeah, that road, like, I, it didn't even dawn on me what road that I was on the entire time I was driving out there until my way back. And those houses are just absolutely creepy and I want to go in them so bad so bad do I want to go in there but anyways I just wanted to uh, do a little video it's been a while since I did a video and I wanted to show those creepy ass houses you know share share those houses especially that that second one That's that first one's creepy but that second one is just like Oh, God, is it creepy looking. And then that, the, the third one, the brick building that's in between all the trees and shit, like, that is, oh, God. Like I said, the entire time on that road, going to and from, I don't know why I felt, like, now I know why, but I, at first, I didn't know why I felt so just eerie and, like, I wasn't supposed to be on that road. I couldn't figure out why until I was actually picking this thing up on the trailer. I was picking that up and I was thinking in my head like, why did I feel so weird? And then it dawned on me where I was. And I went, you got to be kidding me. Like I, I a lot of those places I, like a couple of those houses, I didn't know if they were actually there. Because the one place I, I heard got uh, some locals, uh, a couple of the locals, which there's not very many, but a couple of the locals there, uh, I heard they burned it down, but apparently they did not, uh, because it is still standing. Uh, both of those houses are still standing. And I do know that the one, uh, I do know for sure that the one, uh, is or had some stuff happen into it, like in it, um, because 
one of the people that I know, uh, they actually lived, uh, I think, I actually think our family still lives down the road from there, but they live only about, I don't know, a mile down the road or something. I actually, whenever I pulled off, I actually pulled onto her family's driveway. I hope that they still live there or I kind of felt bad and I was on camera. <laughs> so if it wasn't them, you know, my bad, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that her family still lives there. And, uh, no, no, it's, it's not like, like we didn't have like a romantic past. Like we're, uh, she, she was friends with somebody that I was, uh, talking to years and years ago. I was, uh, just actually out of high school and met them through a couple friends or met her through a couple friends. Um, uh, very, very cool people, very cool chicks. Um, uh, and actually the whole reason why we didn't get together or, you know, it, it, nothing ever happened. Like we did, we went out like two or three times and, and, you know, like out on dates, you know, two or three dates and then hung out here and there or whatever. But actually the reason why we never actually got together is because one, I was in not a very good place, um, because of romantic reasons, different, you know, different relationship, past relationship. Uh, I was still trying to get over the girl that I was with in high school, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, um, actually she went to the military. That's actually the reason why me and her became really good friends. Um, so, uh, but I actually haven't talked to, I haven't talked to her in a long time. I wonder how she's doing. I'm gonna have to see if I can find her on Facebook or something. Anyways, I'm rambling on, um, cause I'm bored. I've been driving all damn day, you gotta excuse me. <laughs> but, uh, all right, guys. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to show you those creepy ass houses. Oh, yeah. I was saying before I hey, they changed that. That's cool. Anyways, uh, the the one house. Um, I do know for sure that there was uh, the guy like murder suicide deal or some shit or just suicide or. One of those, I, I can't remember if it was a murder-suicide or just a suicide. I can't actually actually remember. Or actually, it might have been just a murder and a guy ran and they never caught him. I can't remember how that went. But the only reason why I know that's for sure true is because of um, my friend that lives, you know, that, that lives or used to live down there. And, um... Um... It happened when we were younger. Actually, I was, I believe I was a freshman when that happened, so that would have made her a junior in high school when that happened. So yeah, she was a couple years older than me. Um, but yeah, like that was, er, no, no, I'm sorry, that's somebody else. I was, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I was a ju I was a freshman. She was a junior. Um, because we didn't meet until after high school. That's right. Uh, yeah, my mind's all fucked up, tired, hungry, bored. Fuck. Anyways, um, but yeah, like it's like I remember whenever she was telling me that story, and. Uh, I like whenever she told me that story we were hanging out at her house and it was like I don't know 11.30 at night 10.30, 11.30 at night and me being me I was like oh I want to go look I want to go look I want to go check it out I want to go look at the house blah 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 Everybody else is like, no, 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 we're not walking down this road. Uh, this road's creepy as hell at night, blah, 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 you know, that kind of shit. But we ended up going for a walk. And let me tell you, that road is absolutely creepy as hell at night. Um, whatever I say that it went 
from you can hear crickets and, and shit to dead quiet. I mean, you could hear a pin drop on that road. It was nuts. So obviously there was something, had to be something, some kind of predator around us. And then when we actually got to the house, me and my buddy were the only two that fucking walked up to the house. And it was the weirdest feeling I've ever gotten from just walking up to a house in my life. Um, and supposedly, I it might have just been their, their minds messing with them, but the other people that was actually standing back, like I said, it could have been just their minds and their eyes playing tricks with them, but they said that they were able to see some kind of ghostly looking apparition in the window. I don't know how true that is. I didn't see it. My buddy that me and him walked up to the house didn't see it. But yeah. They said like they said that they seen it. Uh and again I didn't see it, but the way that they acted, the way that they screamed, and the way that they took off running, and like when we finally caught up and stopped, they were crying. So, it could have been true, but again, it, it was, at this point, it was probably midnight, you know, a little after midnight, so it could have just been their, the darkness and their eyes playing tricks with them, because there's no light except for moonlight out there, like, because that, that, um, the one I'm talking about, it was the, it was actually the second one that I showed you, um, pretty sure it was the second one. I can't remember. I can't actually remember. But there is not a tree in front of it. Um, well, there was, but it wasn't It wasn't as tall and, and big. Yeah, it was the second one because, yeah, because the second one was, uh, it, like I said, it was only about a mile down the road or whatever, half a mile, mile down the road. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, it was creepy. It was fun, you know. But anyways, I'm going to get off here. I'll talk to you guys later. It might be safe. I got this fucking thing following me again. Bastards. Anyways, later, everybody.